I've bought a new bike. It's a it's a Triumph Tiger Sport 660 2022, and I'd say it's only got a few hundred miles on the clock. It's had a front crash, so the front is all smashed up. The bike is almost new, so the rear tire is in perfect condition. Rear disc is great. There's no damage here at all on the right hand side and the engine looks perfect. The rear is good. There's a carrier there for a top box, a seat in good condition. The tank is okay, although there is a small dent and crack there. The front subframe is toast. On this side, the fairings look okay. So I should be able to reuse those. But on this side, they are all smashed up. I bought a new left hand switch and I got it on eBay for a real bargain of £20. This one is actually for the Triumph Trident 660, but I think they're the same and it looks the exact same. Now to replace it on the bike, I've removed this left hand panel from here and looking, I'm really happy to see those two connectors look very, very similar to these two connectors. So I'm confident that they're the right ones, so I'm going to switch out the switch. So I have got these two bikes side by side and the reason is I'm going to try and use the key and the clocks and the ECU from this bike which is the immobiliser components and I'm going to see if I can plug them into the red bike and get it to run because it came with no clocks there is no chance it's going to run because the clocks are part of the immobiliser system for these bikes. So if I could switch over the key, the clocks, the ECU, I might be able to get this bike to run, in which case I will be in a great place with it. So I'm going to do that now. You can see when I turn this key, then the clocks turn on and they are connected onto the red bike. The last piece of the puzzle that I need to do is I need to find the ECU, I'm pretty sure it's under this panel here. So I need to find a way to strip down this panel, remove that from the bike, remove the ECU, and I'm gonna put it over to that bike if it will go, which I think it will. Before I do any of that, I'm going to disconnect the battery so that I don't blow any of the electricals because if I blow the ECU, I am totally stuffed. So I'm gonna do all of that now and I'll show you when I've got the ECU switched over. I've pulled this panel up and out the way which is what the ECU is mounted to and there it is, it's this big black box here and it's got the chassis number on it so I've covered it up and this I think is programmed to the clocks so from this bike I've got the clocks on there there's the ECU so I'm now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to do the same on this side, pull out the ECU and put the Trident one on this Triumph Tiger and see if it will start. Okay, well I've switched over the ECU. It's under there, I've put it in place and I've got the key on that bike connected up to this bike. The clocks and the ECU on this bike are now from the donor bike, the Trident. So I'm gonna turn the key over here and hopefully we will hear the ECU and the fuel injection fire up. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, first time. No, nothing. Okay, so that's not good. Um, hmm, that's not good at all. So I need to keep continuing to investigate. There's a fault with the ECU. I don't know why. It might be that the lock set, who knows? I'm gonna keep digging and see if I can find out. Yep, yeah, and things went south very quickly. I started to strip the bike down to try and access the electronics and one thing led to another. These wires caused me no end of problems. I was trying to figure out why the bike wouldn't fire up and I stripped it down and I was swapping parts out with the Triumph Trident 660 that I had. So I was, I was changing out the clocks, the ECU, the immobiliser, all of the gadgets and it turns out in the end I just had to plug some clocks in. So I bought a set of correct clocks for £250 on eBay, put those on and the bike fired right up. So this bit of voiceover is just to explain why the bike looks like it does right now. 
This is the old tank cover. It's not in bad condition, but there is a bit of a dent and a crack there. So that's not good enough for this bike. So I've gone and bought myself a brand new one from Triumph. The new petrol tank has been fitted. Looks really nice. This is a beautiful color. And now the front headlight assembly is being fitted or the clocks. So this bracket here holds the clocks. And this was quite cheap actually for a brand new bike. This was about, uh, I think it was about 90 quid. 90 pounds so that's quite nice so this is where i'm at i have fitted the clocks subframe and the headlight uh both of those are brand new and i fitted this tank and this so i just need to crack on it was a bit of a shame i didn't film the dismantling process but it was just a case of trying to get this thing to work and i'll show you it uh working so I've got one key with the bike, turn the key and that thing, it won't fire up right now because the stand's on but those clocks are so cool, 8.50 new and got them for 2.50 on eBay. I'm doing a bit of a mock up and I think it kind of goes like this, so the headlight is there, that's there first of all, then there's the headlight support frame which is a small piece under there, then you've got this big piece which is headlight support. Just on prices, by the way, headlight was 550. That little part was about 12 pounds. This is 23 pounds. And these are 150 each, these two big panels. So I think it kind of sits like this. And then this one, I think would probably slip up in there afterwards. These are all of the front end parts that I need to fit to the bike. So left and right fairings, screen support, screen, all the little bits I got today and other little fairings and they all need to go on here and I've got no idea how they go. It looks like stage one is this which is a thing that you can attach the screen onto and the screen will bolt to it just like this. So here's that piece from the back and this is an adjustable screen mechanism and I think it goes like this. So there's this device which is to help adjust it. That goes in there and then there is a little spring here. So that goes down there. And then there's a ball that goes on top of that. And then this thing will slot on top of that. There should be two spring and balls, but I only ordered one. So I will have to live with that. So I'm gonna put that on there. And then I need to find myself a little screw to go in there. And I'm gonna have myself a tiny bit of Loctite to and then this whole device, you can see that this will slide up and down. That will now just bolt up into here. So this whole piece will just go on the bike and notice these two little clips. So this whole thing just slides on right there. So this handle uh, and this, they're adjustable. So you can see that goes up and down and this one also will pull up and down. The screen bolts onto those three points and then the screen you can just pull it up and down as you're riding along or maybe when you're stopped you should do it, but it's so cool. So I'm gonna to go touring on this bike in summer and to be able to adjust the screen up and down is extremely good. Time to put on my brand new panel and it will just come around here. That bit feeds in there and it goes underneath there. And then there's a little clip in there, which just pops into the bodywork, holds that in place down there. So that's in. And then I can put in some screws, one there, two behind here. This piece has seen better days, and so I've bought a new one. And the infill panel, this one is cheap, it's only about six pounds. This one is about 80 pounds, but well worth refreshing as I re rebuild the bike. It's time for the last few bits on this bike. So I'm gonna assemble these last few panels. So, so that panel's in place and I just need to clip it in. That is the Triumph Trident 660 finished. 
and it looks sick. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. It's a super, super nice bike. And I'm gonna be riding this one for summer 2023. I literally cannot wait. The panel finish turned out really well. So you can see all of those panels have gone together really nicely. And it just looks smart. It looks really, really good. There's the engine. Let's start the engine up. So there's the dash and it's all turned on. So I need to pull the clutch. There you go, it looks absolutely sick. 